Hello and thank you so much for joining me again for another 3D how-to video in Blender. So we're going to move along in our space exploration series by modeling a spaceship. That way your character could zoom around, explore new worlds, and even maybe have some space battles with other enemy ships. Now if you're completely new to the channel or new to Blender or 3D modeling, then go ahead and check out my last series which is a 3D fantasy RPG series. We have a lot of really awesome models in that series, so if you're new, again, go ahead and check that out. So if you want to follow along and make a spaceship with me, then go ahead and open up a new Blender session and we'll get started. So we're going to break down our spaceship into a couple main components. First of all, we have the body, which is going to be what everything else is attached to. We're going to have the wings. We're going to have the engines and we're going to have the guns. We're going to try to keep it simple, but there's going to be plenty of room in there for you to add your own flair and your own creativity to it. So let's first start with the body and we're actually going to be using for once the default cube in Blender. So go ahead and grab that. Um, we're going to just move it up above the grid a little bit. And so let's jump right into edit mode. And essentially what we're going to do is elongate this and we're going to move the vertices around to kind of create a tapered, uh, tapered kind of rectangle shape, kind of like an X-Wing would have, but maybe a little bit different. So first what I'm going to do is grab the front, uh, we're going to grab the front edge of the of the cube, we're going to bring that down, and then we're going to select both of the edges on the front, and we're going to scale that in the X direction. So it tapers a little bit, but we want it to kind of slant towards the front. That's just the way that I'm making it. If you want to make it some other way, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Okay. And now we're going to move to the back. We're going to pull this face back. All right. And then we're going to shrink that down just a little bit. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is add some bevels to the side edges of the body. There are a ton of different ways that you could do that with loop cuts and all sorts of stuff, but this is a really good opportunity to show off the beveling tool in Blender. So to do that, go ahead and select an edge, and with that selected, hit Control B on the keyboard, and once you pull the mouse away, you'll see that a bevel is formed. And like any other tool in Blender, you can actually enter values by typing in numbers while you're moving the bevel. Um, so we're gonna type in 0.1. Hit enter to confirm, and I think that looks pretty good for now. Let's do that to the rest of the edges. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now with all these new edges and vertices on our front face, let's go ahead and mold them a little bit to give the front a, a different look than just a flat face. So I'm just going to grab some edges and vertices and mold it into what I think looks good. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I could probably play with this to no end, so I think I'm going to call it right there. So the next thing that we'll do is add a cockpit, and that's going to be pretty simple. What we're going to do is select the top face, and we're going to subdivide that top face into smaller sections until we get a kind of nice square rectangle or, or some shape in the middle. So to do that, we can select the top face. Over on the tool shelf, we can hit subdivide, and you can see that it cuts it into four different parts. So if we hit it again, it actually subdivides it further, and we'll use these faces to create our cockpit. So now what I like to do is inset some of these faces so we have a clear, uh, a clear crisp line from where the cockpit meets the body. So let's select these top faces right here where we want our cockpit to be. We can go over to the tool shelf and hit inset faces or I on the keyboard, and we're just going to inset them just a little bit. And that way, when we move the edges and vertices of this cockpit, we're not going to be pulling up a lot of the other features from the ship. So it's going to be a lot more crisp, a lot more like we added an object onto this ship, rather than just extruding it or modeling it up from it. So now let's just start pulling up some of the vertices and edges until we have what we think looks pretty good. Okay, next let's go ahead and move on to the wings, and that's going to be extremely simple. We're just going to add a cube, we're going to flatten that cube out, and then we're going to move some of the edges and vertices to make it a wing shape. Like I said, very, very simple. 
So let's go ahead into object mode just to keep these separate objects. So let's go to add, mesh, and cube. Okay. Let's go ahead and move it into position. We're going to move it right over here. Okay, I think that's a pretty good spot. Now with the whole cube selected, hit S on the keyboard, and we're going to hit Z to just scale in the Z direction. Might have to move it up again a little bit. Move it out. Okay. Now at this point, let's go ahead and mirror this so that it copies what we do over here to the other side of the plane. That's always important to do when you're dealing with symmetric objects, just because it gives you a lot better of an idea of what it's going to look like uh, while you're actually molding the different objects in your model. And it's just a step that I like to do sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead to add modifier. We're going to go down to the mirror modifier. And the mirror object is going to be the ship body. That's going to be the main object that we'll be mirroring about. So right off the bat, we didn't actually uh, rename any of our objects. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll call this ship body. We're going to call cube one wing. Okay. And now when we go down to mirror object, we can select ship body. And now we'll be able to see the changes that we make to both sides of the ship. So from here, let's go ahead into edit mode. First, let's start moving some of these edges to make the wing shape. So this is pretty good, but I want to give it a little bit more detail. So what I'm going to do is create a loop cut around the center of the side of the wing and then make it so that it tapers from the top to the middle and from the middle to the bottom. So we can do that by going over to the side here. We're going to add a loop cut and it's going to be a little bit difficult to select the outside here. There we go. We're just going to drop that right in the center. And now let's go ahead and edit the edges and the vertices of the wing to give it that taper. Now let's go ahead and move on to the engines. We're gonna do that first by adding some cylinders. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead back into object mode, go to add mesh and cylinder. Okay, let's move it over here. And right off the bat, let's go ahead and mirror this as well. Okay, so maybe later on we'll go ahead and mold the back to fit the engines a little bit better, but we're gonna focus right now on modeling the engines. So first, let's just go ahead and go into edit mode. We're going to select the back face, and just like we did with the cockpit, we're gonna go ahead and inset this face. So let's inset it to about right there, and then we're going to extrude it back a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what I also want to do is make it taper a little bit. So we're going to select this ring of faces. So go down to face select. We're going to hold down alt and we're going to select this, this ring of faces here, hit S on the keyboard. And we're just going to give those a little bit of a taper, kind of like a jet engine. So the next thing that I want to do is just to add an icosphere within that engine opening, just to give it a little bit of a cool shape and look like that there's some kind of fire or propulsion or something coming out of it. So let's go ahead back into object mode. And we wanna add this as a whole separate object because it's gonna be difficult to select it within that engine if it's the same part. Always trying to think ahead when we're doing these models. Let's go to add mesh and icosphere. Let's shrink that down a little bit. And we're gonna use the origin arrows to put it into place. All right, now let's go ahead and mirror it to the other side. All right, looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and edit the body now so that it fits a little bit better with the engines. And this might take me a little while. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. So go ahead and do this however you like. All right, there was a ton of cleaning up to do with this, but that's the joy of 3D modeling. I started with one shape and with some tweaking and some, some moving around some features and vertices and edges, 
we got to a whole different thing, but I think it looks awesome. So we're going to stick with that. Now to finish this spaceship off, let's go ahead and model some guns for it. We're going to end up putting them on the body of the spaceship. And this is going to be really simple. We're going to just bring in a cube. We're going to manipulate it a little bit. And it's going to kind of look like some, uh, some just kind of arms coming off, pointing out towards the front of the spaceship. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. So in object mode, let's go to add mesh and cube. Okay. Let's just make it so that it's just in the body a little bit. We're going to be able to manipulate this so that we don't have to rotate it or anything, um, just as long as it's connected to the body. So of course we want to mirror this. So go to add modifier, go to mirror, and we're going to mirror about, of course, the ship body. Looks like there were a couple things that we didn't quite add the, uh, the names to. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's go right into edit mode. And we're going to use vertex select. And let's just kind of get it into a shape that is going to be suitable to have our arm-shaped guns coming out. All right, not too bad. And so the next thing that we're going to do is add a loop cut and move it down to right about here because we're going to select this face and extrude it away from the rest of the gun. So with uh, face select selected, we're going to hit E on the keyboard to extrude. We're going to have it come out right to there. Now we don't want it to be angled towards the ship. That would definitely be bad. Let's go ahead and move that away a little bit. To actually make this a barrel of a gun that whatever will come out, missiles, uh, energy rays, whatever that you want, let's go ahead, select the front face of the gun. We're going to select inset faces or eye on the keyboard and we're going to inset that just a little bit. With, so let's hit E on the keyboard with the face still selected. We're going to actually extrude this along the Y axis. But we have a little bit of an issue because the gun is tapered, this face is actually going to end up larger than the rest of the barrel of the gun. So let's select about right here as far as how deep we want the gun to go. And with that face still selected on the inside, let's just hit S on the keyboard to scale and just scale it down until that face is hidden. Okay. All right. And now this is one of my favorite parts of 3D modeling. We're going to be adding color to it. All right, and there we have our spaceship for our space exploration game. This is definitely one of the cooler spaceships that I ever threw together. And there's even tons of room for additions and add-ons and upgrades that you could get through the game or that you could find around the world that you create. So definitely give this one a try and make sure that when you're done, you tweet me a picture of your final result. I would love to see all the cool customizations and cool things that you add on to your spaceship. Now, if this video helped you out, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos or future series, please leave that down in the comments below. Also, go ahead and check out the Craft3D Facebook page that I created to kind of form a community for you guys to share all the designs that you create and also to get plenty of updates for the channels and everything that I build. So finally, the question of the week, what is your favorite spaceship from a video game, a movie, a TV show, or anything? All right, make sure that you keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.